donkey of the day for Thursday, May 3rd goes to Jonathan Todd Jackson, a.k.a. Action Jackson, a.k.a. JT. Now, you probably have not a clue who Jonathan Jackson is because the only Jacksons we acknowledge are all related to Michael and Janet. Oh, and Bo. Okay, Bo knows. You don't have a clue who Jonathan Todd Jackson is, but I'm about to tell you. Jonathan Todd Jackson is a 41-year-old friend of Kevin Hart. According to TMZ, he's been in movies like SWAT, Naked, and even in a movie starring Kevin Hart, Think Like a Man too. Now, I know you might be thinking just because you were in a movie with someone doesn't make you friends. Wow! Don- Jonathan and Kevin Hart have posted several pics together throughout the years, and Action Jackson even attended Kevin's bachelor party. Uh, sounds like they were pretty good friends to me. Now, according to the New York Times, Action Jackson was a professional U.S. bowler, and according to the PBA, which is the Professional Bowlers Association, <laughs> Jonathan has been a professional bowler since 2006, and his career earnings are a grand total of $3,255.00. Oh, boy. He's a pro bowler. Oh yes. Boy. I have no idea why him being a professional bowler is relevant to the story, but for whatever uh-huh. reason, when my brain processes this story, the fact that Jonathan Todd Jackson was a professional bowler with the nickname Action Jackson makes this story even more entertaining. In fact, if I had to run this story on my website, it would say U.S. Pro Bowler throws Kevin Hart in the gutter because according to TMZ, oh. Action Jackson is in jail on a $100,000 bail facing a maximum sentence of four years because he was charged with attempted extortion and extortion by threatening letter because Jonathan Todd, JT, Action Jackson, was attempting to extort his mm-hmm. friend, actor, comedian, Kevin Hart. Let's go to AOL.com for the report. On Wednesday, a man was charged with attempting to extort money from actor Kevin Hart with a surreptitiously recorded video of the married comedian with a female. According to the Los Angeles District Attorney's Office, 41-year-old Jonathan Todd Jackson, a pro bowler, has been charged with attempted extortion by threatening letter. Jackson is accused of seeking an undisclosed amount of money from the 38-year-old Hart in August of 2017 and of also trying to sell a video of the Jumanji star Mm -hmm. in Las Vegas Mm -hmm. with a woman to numerous celebrity news websites. If convicted, Jackson faces a maximum sentence of four years in prison. Niggas, I tell you. Bruh, this is why I feel like an open enemy is better than a false friend. Okay, I mean, this is a different type of guy code violation. This is worse than your friend telling your wife you was cheating. Mm. This is worse than your friend trying to holler at your wife. Now, both of those offenses would be ends to the friendship. But in this situation, Axon Jackson was trying to ruin Kevin's life. He was trying to ruin his marriage, possibly ruin his livelihood. Thank God none of this happened, but damn, man. Mm -mm -mm. Jonathan Todd, Kevin supposed to be your guy, a man you considered a friend. Y'all got several selfies together, okay? And you were willing to lose your friendship, possibly cause Kevin to lose his marriage and have people around you lose all respect and integrity for you because you wanted to extort your man, your guy for some money? Crazy thing is, the Kevin Hart I know would probably have given you some money if you really needed it because you sound desperate, okay? Well, not $17 million. I mean, no, not asshole. no $17 oh. million, but you do a little change, you know mm-hmm, what I mean, mm-hmm. to help get you through, okay? Because as a pro bowler with career earnings at $3,255, you clearly needed the money. And I'm going to tell you something else about people like Jonathan Jackson. Any friend that turned into an enemy has been hating since day one. You've been jealous and envious of Kev for as long as you've known him or for how, however long Kev's been popping, okay? Because this wasn't just an extortion plot. You was trying to ruin Kevin's life. Now, I know what you're saying. Kevin almost ruined his own life by cheating. Well, you know what? You're right, okay? But you know what a friend does in that situation? He tells Kev he was wrong. He tells Kev he was wilding. He tells Kev he got to do better because he got too much to lose. But a friend doesn't get a hold of the tape and try to sell it to every blog and then extort his so-called friend for money. Okay, this is a prime example of karma. Yes, Kev made a huge mistake, but ain't no good gonna come to you, Action Jackson, for trying to exploit that mistake and extort your friend. Now, when the news broke yesterday, Kevin tweeted out, mind blown, hurt, at a loss for words, and simply in complete disbelief at the moment. Wow. I hate. Wow. When, I really hate when people say they're at a loss for words, and then they go on to use more words after they said that. But that's neither here nor there. Anyway, Action Jackson, you are facing four years in jail, but you are facing a lifetime of shame. Why ruin a great friendship over financial gain? Okay, personally, I think real friends are more important than finances. But what do I know? Okay, I'm just glad Action Jackson is in jail, and I'm glad people get to witness this karma, because when people do you wrong, it's no need for revenge. Just sit back and wait, because those who hurt you will eventually screw up themselves, and if you're lucky, God will let you watch. And right now, Kevin Hart has a front row seat to watch his former friend pay for the dirt he attempted to do. Okay, 
This story is going to have everybody side-eyeing their friends all day. And if you know what I know, you better. Because the saddest thing about betrayal is that it never comes from your enemies. Please give Jonathan Todd Jackson the biggest he-haw. He's a sucker.